Do you ever wonder what the lore behind Crunker is? Well, today I'm here to figure out what Crunker really is. Innocent Child's Game or Hell itself. For those of you not familiar, a while back Crunker had what was known as the Alien Event. Sadly, Crunker never completed this event. However, several clues were found before the event ended. I'm going to break down all the clues found and what they mean for Crunker lore. First off, there were several UFOs that can be spotted around the map, which brings us to our first theory. Aliens have captured the players and are forcing them to fight. There are several clues to support this theory, with a tombstone found in the back of Little Town, with five different languages on it, which in order spell out alien. However, I don't believe that this is the actual story behind Krunger, for you see, several players found other clues around the map and pictures in the source files that reference life, death, Satan, and the creation of worlds. But what does all this mean? Krunker is actually hell, created by Satan himself. I mean, think about it. It's a game where we are forced to kill each other and be killed over and over. But Salty, what about us getting KR and cool items? If it was hell, why would we be getting rewards? You ask. Well, the answer is simple. Just think about how do you get KR in the game? By getting kills. So the game is designed to reward those who kill the most and inflict the most amount of suffering to the other players. KR and the cosmetics you buy with it are just to give you a goal and a purpose so you focus on killing other players instead of working together to find a way out of hell. But Salty, what about the hackers in the game? You say... Well, first of all, I say stop trying to poke holes in my theory, you little... And second of all, those are demons. The devil allows them to play with the mortals every once in a while to torment the players. However, he will send in his KPD so that way players don't lose all hope. Because if players lose all hope, they refuse to participate in his game and give up. Meaning they will no longer kill each other. So Satan has to allow the players to hope so that way they keep playing. But Santi, what about the spins? How is that created by Satan? That's simple. Gambling is a sin. And so it makes sense that the main way to get items in the game is through gambling. But Santi, what about clans in the game? How Shut up, okay? Look, clans can be explained because Kinmanship helps people endure bad situations better. For example, several people will work jobs they hate because they have good friends there. So having clans is another way to keep players from giving up hope. But Salty- Stop! No. It's a foolproof theory. Just shut up. Now back to the alien thing. The reason there are clues around the different maps is because there are seven angels that are trying to break the players out of hell. Angels, however, are used to being called aliens, because every time they visit humans, they get called aliens. So, they call themselves aliens, so that we humans will be familiar with them. They are the ones leaving clues, and trying to wake the players up to the real enemies, the KPD, because the KPD is the one that are holding the players hostage. Just look, in several maps, there are KPD officers guarding the exits, making sure that we can't sleep. And that's why the KPD officers are actually demons doing Satan's bidding. What does KPD really stand for? The Killing Purgatory Dimension. 